there, it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts here again. Um, thank you for joining me. I hope the lighting is okay. It's, um, it's kind of mid-morning, but it's a really overcast day. And if I turn any more lights on, there's going to be horrible, um, horrible shadows. But here we go. So this is the card that I have made for um, people who have shopped with me in Where Are We March. Um, I'm actually filming this in March, but it, you'll be seeing it in April. So this is my March thank you card. Um, and I am using two of the retiring colours uh, because at the end of May, um, all of the 2015-2017 in colours will be retiring. So that's Delightful Dijon, Tip Top Taupe, Cucumber Crush, Watermelon Wonder and Mint Macaron. Um, so this is the Watermelon Wonder and Mint Macaron. Um, so A, I'm using this as a thank you card, but also I'm using it as a highlight of if you want any of those colours after the end of May, well, frankly, after the end of April, um, I would jump on and get them now, particularly the re-inkers for the ink pads. Uh, as I say, I'm filming this at the back end of March um, and I checked this morning and all of the re-inkers are on back order. Um, some of them have got dates for when they're due in, but not all of them. So um, we have been advised that there will come a point when once stocks have sold, they won't be restocked for the ink colours. So you have been warned. Um, anyway, so let's get on and make this card. I am using the Banners For You bundle. So it's a stamp set and um, a set of framelits, um, or yes, frame, framelits. And if you get it as a bundle price or as a, as a bundle deal using the bundle code, uh, which I'll have linked on the blog post that's linked below, uh, then you save 10%. So always a good one. Um, I, I'm not 100% sure whether this is going to carry over or not, but what I know won't carry over is the bundle. So if you are tempted by this stamp set uh, and the matching framelits, then um, if you want to get them at 10% off, then now is the moment to get them. Let me find page 193, which is where the framelits are. Um, don't know if you can see that, but it's it's basically all of the banners um, can be can be cut with framelits, and indeed that is what what we're going to do today. Now they're polymer stamps, so that is brilliant when you are using um, a mix of shapes. Um, just bring in those. So let's bring in the box. These are shown at seventy five percent of their actual size. So we've got a straight banner these are straight and then these two are curved um, some of the sentiments are already curved ready to go on the curved shapes but some of them are straight but because they're photopolymer um, and I'm actually going to use the straight ones because they're photopolymer you can bend them so um, what I have done here and you can see it probably better on on the um, stamped image is I've actually bent them so that they run the same shape as the uh, stamped image and then the, the framelit. So let's get going. I'm going to do the same but different. You know me, I don't do the same thing all the time. Um, so I'm going to switch out uh, the order of the colours. So I'm going to be doing the, the uh, banner in Mint Macaron and the sentiment in um, Watermelon Wonder and then the mats I will reverse. As ever, all the measurements will be on my blog, link below. Uh, so don't worry about writing them down. Um, I'm using my usual A6, that's metric A6. I know in America you have slightly different sizes for what your A's are. So this is the equivalent, I guess, of your A2, um, just to be confusing. So metric A6. Um, so A5 scored down the middle and folded in half. Then I have got my normal first layer base, which is five and five eighths by three and seven eighths or 14 and a quarter by nine and three quarters. Second layer, five and a half by three and three quarters or 14 by nine and a half. Stamping layer is three and a half by five and a quarter, which is nine by 13. And then I've got a scrap for the banner. Now I only have Watermelon Wonder in a spot. 
Um, it came in one of the uh, kits um, and because I got it, um, oh, I only got this about three, four months ago, uh, knowing that these were going to go out of, out of um, the, the catalogue, I, to be honest, I didn't bother uh, getting the big, the big stamp, uh, the big ink, because once May has gone, as a demonstrator, unless I wanted to use it for personal use, there's not really much point in me using it. So, let us get our stamping done. Um, photopolymer, so matte, um, always better. I have got a great wadge of, of the grid paper here, um, but it's still always better to use a matte. Um, so, let us start with the banner and get this well inked. Um, it looks as if it's got uh, ink on it already because it's stained a bit pink. What you do find with the photopolymer is that any inks that have a red base to them uh, will stain your stamps, but all they do is stain. They don't actually damage at all. Um, so let us get this stamped and then I will cut it out with the big shot and we can go from there. Right, so that's that stamped. Now let's do the the sentiments. Um, I've got these both, block, both set up on a block already and I'm kind of double sizing them because I'm going to be using a lot of blocks. Um, so I've double sided this one. So I've got thank you and so much. Um, so using this, now this is, because it's a spot, it's a fabric rather than a foam. So you do need to be a bit sort of more definite about getting the ink on. A bit of a twist is always good. So let's do the so much. And because they're photopolymer, you can see where you're stamping, even when you've got a camera in the way. So I hope you enjoyed celebration. I'm now getting ready for, and by the time you watch this, I will be at On Stage Live, which this year is in, or this time is in Amsterdam. So I will be going over there. Um, and as I say, by the time you see this, I will be there. Um, right, so let's actually get, I'm going to, I'm going to do the, di uh, the um, oh, big shot work off camera, because otherwise it's going to get a bit, cramped here but what I'm doing is this is the magnetic plate the matching uh, framelit and because it's magnetic I can line it up then an acrylic plate over the top and I shall just I've got a, I've got a cat under my desk today which does make moving quite interesting right okay that's that uh, she's decided that sitting between my legs is a really special place to be, which is lovely and friendly and I'm delighted, but it does make uh, standing here quite interesting. So, there we go. Right, so that's that cut out, and as you see, it's, it's just perfect. Um, so, I'm going to bring in a bit of scrap paper because some of this is going to stamp off well I'm going to stamp off as you can see from this I've already started stamping off so uh, I'm going to bring this in just for a bit of positioning um, and you'll notice you may well you may notice it goes off the edge of the card um, but because we've got the other layers that's not really an issue so there are a lot of leaves in this stamp set um, so whoops, that will be my bone folder on the floor um, so we've got flowers as well. I think these get missed. I think people think it's just words and banners, but actually there's these shapes that you can use for floral as well. So I'm going to use those. So, as I say, this is just so that I can see where I'm going to put the banner. And then once I've got two down, I can work from there. Right, and I'm going to actually do a second generation of that one. Uh, and I want a second generation of the one I've already done, but of course couldn't do because I forgot. Right, so that's that one. And then we'll bring in this one. This one's actually got a place to put the flower. 
in fact that one has as well but um yeah so uh, uh, uh can't decide where to put it right let's pop one down here and then i'll do a second if i put it there then that should fit quite nicely uh, i think actually i'll bring the flower in now and then i can fill in with this is quite a strong color um, and I didn't want anything quite that strong so I'm actually going to stamp off before I stamp at all and then I'm going to do a second because even as a second generation it is quite a faint uh, quite a bright color so um, go that's that one now I want the teeny dots oh putting it in your mint macaron really isn't the way to go is it um, right let's just clean that up a bit fortunately because this is a darker color it's not so much of an issue right and these I just kind of put to fill in some space um, pop one over there And then, let's get rid of that, I will bring in the final one, which is a more sort of frondy um, leaf. And some of this will have coming off at the edge. I'll pop it there, that should do. Good. Right, so that's the stamping done. So now all I need to do is build it up. So let's get rid of those bits. Bring in our base. Oh, cat's moved. I can stand up properly. So. So yes, I'm getting very excited about um, being on stage live. I've been to on stage before, but I haven't been to the live one, um, which goes on for a couple of days. Well, I think two and a half days, actually. Um, so really looking forward to that and we'll obviously be seeing a lot of our European colleagues um, and some of the Americans are or well, North Americans are coming over too so uh, that'll be great um, it's it's just wonderful to uh, to be able to see all these like-minded people um, and share all the ideas and get to play with some of the new staff um, which I will share with you as soon as I'm allowed to but there is an embargo for a while so um, I'm only allowed to show you various bits there's a sort of we can show you some bits and then we can show you some more bits and there's a whole you can get a you can get to see the outside of the catalogue but you can't see the inside of the catalogue um, so yes as I can I will as I am permitted I will share with you um, so I'm popping this up on dimensionals and I've probably said this, but well, I know I've said it before and you've probably heard it before. If you're in the UK, one dimensional does not a large letter make. Um, a lot of foam pads, you can't say that about. Um, the moment you put a foam pad on something, it becomes a large letter. But ours don't. So there you are. Those are the two um, variations. Um similar but different. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that. As I say, associated blog post is below. Uh, there'll be more information and some close-up photos and stuff like that. Um, there'll also be the list of supplies, uh, details of my VIP reward club. Um, if you place an order with me that is £25 or more and use the, the current host code, which is, I have to check for the April one, which is uh, NDS4M for mother, 7G2, and I'll have that on the blog post. If you use that and you spend more than £25, or £25 or more, on my online store, 
then you join the rewards club and you get all sorts of extra goodies. Um, if you're ordering over £150 worth, um, don't use the code, but I will still uh, add you to the membership. Um, but if, you've, if you're spending £150 or more, you get your own hostess rewards. So, um, yeah, that's the better way of doing it. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed that and I will see you again very soon. Thank you very much.